Hello and welcome to this Let's Sign It tutorial. In this video, we will be setting up the push connector for Outlook web app. This connector will enable us to insert signatures in all of our emails sent from Outlook web app. Before we start, let's just make sure we are using an admin account on the Let's Sign It platform. Head over to your team tab to verify this information. So as you can see, we have the admin role. If you would like to um, upgrade a user to admin, you just need to click here and change the role. Next, we will go to the Office 365 Admin Center to make sure that our user has the appropriate admin roles and licenses on Office 365. So we can see this in the Active Users tab. And then we will just need to click on our user to open up all this information. So in order to set up this connector, we will need the application admin role. So please note that the global administrator role will not be enough. You will need to add this role as well. Uh, you can do that over here or in the Azure uh, Active Directory uh, Center. Next, we need to make sure that we have a license giving the user access to Exchange Admin Center. Uh, E3 and E5 licenses are good examples of uh, licenses that give you access to this panel. Once that is done, we can head over to the Exchange Admin Center where we will need to create uh, an admin role. So we can do this over here in the roles section. So we'll add a, a role group. So this one will be called application impersonation. In the description, we can put the same thing. Write scope will be default. Next, we need to uh, select the permission. So application impersonation is the one we are looking for. And then we will need to assign uh, our user or our admin to this uh, group role. So please note you can only add one user to this group role. Uh, adding more than one can cause issues with the setup of the push connector. So we'll review and add the group. Uh, we will be getting an error because I have already created this group. But if you haven't already, this should work out fine. And then you should have your group over here. So let's just make sure it's assigned correctly. Okay, and that's done. So once all of these points have been set up, you can head over back to the Let's Sign It platform in the Office 365 Integrations tab. And we can authorize the push connector. So we will just need to authenticate with our admin account and then tick the consentment box and we should have a successful setup. So over here you can see the green tick which means that the connector was created successfully. Um, it can sometimes take a bit of time to diffuse the signatures in Outlook Web App. However, we'll have a quick look to see if it, it's already uh, appearing. So let's go on new message. So as you can see, our signature is here. And if we go in the uh, signature library, we should find the signature too. Yeah, so as we can see, the setup worked out fine. And uh, we now have our highest priority signature that's assigned to our user uh, inserted automatically into new emails. If you have any questions, please contact our support team. We hope that you enjoyed this video and have a nice day. Thank you. Goodbye.